Hi y'all. My name's Krista and I'm the Wildflower Stitcher. This is my first floss tube video. Hopefully I won't talk too fast. I'm a little nervous, but um, you know, we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> um, I made some notes, so I am gonna be looking down because I have already filmed once and um, I rewatched it and I thought, oh, I need to be a little bit more organized than that. So we're gonna give it a second shot. So I wanna first thank you for spending some time with me. I know that there's lots of choices out there and I just appreciate you um, checking out my channel. Um, this community has been so nice. Um, it's been so lovely meeting um, different people and um, developing friendships and um, it's just amazing what you can do nowadays you know I have friends all over the United States now um, not really any overseas yet um, maybe that'll come um, but it's been fun getting to know people and um, having some like you know interest in things so um, a little bit about me I'll try not to take too long um, so I started cross stitching, you know, pretty much like a lot of people when I was, you know, between the ages of 12 and 14. I really can't remember exactly when. Um, I can remember, as long as I can remember back, I have always been creating something. Um, it just brings a lot of joy to me. Um, I cross stitch, I crochet, I knit. Uh, I don't knit a lot, um, but I, did teach myself how to knit. Um, and I like to, um, I've made cards before. I have made some furniture before, um, do a lot of, uh, remodeling in homes, um, that we've lived in. Um, and what else? I mean, I've laid tile, I've put tile in showers. I've done shiplap with my mom. Um, I also love to garden. Um, speaking of my mom, uh, my mom is uh, just an absolute um, master at gardening. I mean, she can, you know, there's people that can just throw color together, like with cross stitch, they can change floss and quilters can, oh, I also quilt too. Um, quilters can, you know, change different colors, different fabrics and things like that. My mom can do that with flowers and you know, anything that grows outside. It just, um, it amazes me. She just does beautiful work. Um, and she has helped me um, design my beds at my last house in Texas and then my home in Oklahoma as well. Um, I'm always calling her for advice. Um, so, um, I don't know if I already said, but I live in Owasso, Oklahoma. We moved here about three years ago in um, 21. Um, we, I was originally born in California, Whittier, California, and then um, my parents moved to um, Texas. So we lived in Kingwood, Texas for since, gosh, um, I think we moved there when I was 10 or 11. I can't remember exactly when. Um, and then we lived there Oh, no, my, my, my mistake. We moved to Norman, Oklahoma. Um, and then when I was a senior in high school, then we moved to Kingwood, Texas, and we lived there um, from 89 to 21. And then we moved up here, uh, my husband and I and our family. Um, so I'm just like 25 minutes north of the Silver Needle, if you guys uh, know of that. They're, they are my LNS my local needle workshop. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Um, so I'm married to my husband, Daryl. Um, this March will be 23 years. Uh, <clears throat> we have six children between us. We're a blended family, pardon me. <clears throat> um, so Daryl had two when we got married. I had two when, I, when we got married and then we had two together. So um, Taylor and Katie are the oldest and they're Daryl's. Uh, Taylor's 35, Katie's 26. They live in Texas. Um, we don't really keep in too much contact with them, uh, just various reasons. Uh, I wish it was different. Um, and then um, 
Christopher's my oldest. He's 31, and he's married to my daughter-in-law, Taylor. Um, and then they have a son, um, Oakley, who will be three in July. Uh, so he's my, I have two grandsons. He's my youngest grandson, and um, we call him the Big O. Um, and then my oldest grandson lives in Texas with his mom, um, which is also Christopher's son. Um, and his name is Wyatt. He's seven, and we call um, we call him the boss. So, because um, he was the first grandson, so you know he's the boss. Um, he comes up here all the time. We visit with him all the time. We take him on um, family vacations, and uh, we're very close to him. So that's nice. Um, Savannah is twenty seven, and she's married. She lives also here in Oklahoma. Um, and then we have two at home, Rachel and Walker. Rachel is 16. She's our red, our little redhead. Um, she's 16 and she swims for Trident. Um, she does competitive swim. Um, she's just getting back into it because she had an injury. So that kind of took her out for like the last year or so. Um, we're happy she's back in swimming and I think she is, she is happy too. Uh, Walker also, he's 12, he also swims for uh, Trident as well, um, and he is in sixth grade, and he um, is playing the trumpet, um, so we have lots of practicing at home, and then he also is involved with the high school um, fishing um, team uh, for Owasso, so um, they get to go bass fish, and um, we kind of, we we're an outdoorsy kind of family, so is outdoorsy even a word? I don't even know. doesn't matter. Um, it is today. Um, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, we also have two other girls. Uh, Rose is our golden retriever, and uh, let's see, she's eight years old, and then uh, Dixie is our black lab who we um, rescued let's see, I think it's been five years now. Uh, so we don't really know her exact age. I would venture to say she's probably six or seven. So um, they are both very sweet and very loved. Um, so that's enough about me. Hope I didn't take too long. Let's get started on the stitching because that's what you guys are here for, right? Um, so we're gonna start with whips. I hope that I have this organized enough for y'all. Um, like I said, I'm very new at this, so bear with me. Okay, so we'll start with this. Um, so this is a chart by the Scarlet House. It's called Martha Evans, 1879. And this was um, Brenda's birthday sal um, from uh, Brenda and the Serial Starter um, in, let's see, we're in 24, I think. Was this 20? 23, I think. Um, so here's the, I'm sure y'all have seen this a hundred times. Very pretty. I do not have a big start on this. Um, trying to decide where to put things. So I stitched this on antique lace, 40 count, and I have a very small start. And I really would love to get back to this. It's very pretty. So there's my start. Like I said, it's not very big. I hope that this is showing up okay. So that was my first, I believe this was my first time stitching on 40 count. Um, I really like stitching on 40 count, it's, it's not bad. I'm using DMC floss, I don't have it all fancy on nice little things, so there's no need to show it. <laughs> um, let's see, let's not do that one next. Um, this was a, I believe a sew along with uh, Primrose Cottage Stitches. I think this came out last year at Market. Welcome to the North Pole. And I am stitching this on. Let's hope that I have the little tag for the fabric. No, of course I don't. Mm. Oh, goodness gracious. Mm, I do not know. I'm sorry, I don't know what, I know I'm not stitching on the call for. And I would venture to say this is probably 36 count. 
and that I, again, I don't have a lot done. That's my start. And I've just got, look at my rat's nest. Don't you love it? Hmm. That's kind of how I roll. So, you know, I'm probably not going to show a lot of floss. This I started, um, I started this on Christmas Day. This is by Blackbird Designs, Feliz Navidad, beautiful. I started this on Milk and Honey, 36 count, and so I did the border, and when I got to When I got, so I started here and I went all the way down and around and I came up here all the way right there and I was like, I'm off. And I looked and I looked and I looked to find out where I was off. And so then I started taking and stitching across to see where, you know, where I possibly could be off. And I couldn't figure out for the longest time. So I walked away, I came back. I don't remember if it was the next day or what have you. Well, I ended up finding my air. You can see my string right here that I stitched across here. My air is right in here, okay? So I sat there and I looked at it and I said, oh, I'm just gonna take it out this way and restitch this instead of taking out all of that. So I was happy about that, that it wasn't that big of a deal. Have I done that yet? No, I haven't done that yet. So it's in time out. <laughs> Sometimes when I make mistakes, I just put my stuff away and I'm like, okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna put that away. Cause I, it, it just needs a timeout. That's why. Um, this next one is Snow Magic. This was a sew along with uh, Nicole's floor. Um, I kept, what, kept up with it for a little bit and then I, um, I got behind. But I have a pretty good start. So, and I'm doing this on natural silver. I don't know if y'all can see the, the shimmer in the, maybe right there you can see a little of the sparkle. It's not a lot, but I just thought it was fun. And this is 40 count, and I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, my stack right there. This is by Heart and Hand um, Tomato Tart. I don't know if I'm going to finish it the same way as she did there. Um, the colors that it called for were Carolina, is it Cecil, is that how you say it, and Seaweed um, for Weeks Dye Works. I looked at those two colors and they just didn't do much for me. Um, so what I did is I picked out sun dried and because right, sun dried is tomato, right? Um, and then seaweed for the green. So, and I've got, you know, you would think I would have this done by now, but I don't. And I actually made an error in it and I just don't know if I'm going to take it out or just continue. I may just continue and just I don't think you can really tell. I think I left out two lines, but you know, who's counting? Um, Y'all are gonna crack up at this. So this was forever ago. The Cookie Exchange, so along with um, Hands On Design with Kathy, and I don't have a picture of it. I just have the chart, so I'm not gonna show that. Um, but you'll crack up when I show you this. So I thought I was done with it. Are you kidding me? I have <laughs> left that red line out. So it's in my whips. So I need to finish that this month. This was a, this was a fun stitch. And this was, um, it was the call for 
fabric and it was done by <laughs> please hold um oh for the love Okay, if y'all are dying to know, ask me and I'll find it. But I don't know right now. So we're going to go with that. Um, this is a hands across the sea chart. By Nicola. Where flowers bloom. I just absolutely love what it says. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. And I started this one on, and I had gotten far, I started it on uh, Vintage Country Mocha 28 Count. And you know how you get, I don't know, for me, when I figured out that I could stitch with one strand of floss, like my whole life just changed. I was like, oh, I never want to stitch with two strands of floss again. Well, you kind of have to remember that when you're using 28 count. So I had done a lot of the border with all the color changes of the flowers and everything with one strand of floss. Well, you can get away with that on some um, fabrics, not on, not on this. So it's, I had to go back and restart it. So that's okay. You know, you live and learn. Isn't that what this is all about? And I'm using DMC for that. I'm sure I've forgotten to tell you guys what I'm using. I typically use what is called for. Um, not that that helps you, but that's what we're going to go with right now. Um, that does not go with that. This one I started last year on my anniversary, on March 23rd, what remains. And what I did is I took this A out and I put an R in there for our last name. Um, I really would like to get this done this year, but we are coming to a close on that, aren't we? So I'll show you what I have done. I've really skipped around on this. And this one is being um, stitched on Barb's Blend 26 count. It's really a fun stitch. It's real pretty. I'm using the um, called for floss, which is, let me look. Because I think it's got some variegated. Yeah, it's got Weeks Dye Works, General Arts, um, Classic Color Works. Um, very pretty. I like, the, I like the variegation in this flower here. I think it's really pretty. Here's another Hands Across the Sea. Chart, uh, Mary Ann. Is it Priest, 1851? I may have said that wrong. I'm not real good at pronouncing things. I'm just gonna tell you up front. I love this little chart. I love, I have noticed that I like a lot of, I like a multitude of things. You will, you will find that out. But I love the colorful alphabet. I think it's pretty. Um, I started this one on lamb's wool, 28 count. And again, this would be one that I started stitching with one strand of floss. Um, I am stitching with the call for, which I think is DMC. Yes, it is DMC. Now this one, I don't think, I don't know, you guys can let me know, but I don't think it looks too bad with one strand of floss. I think the coverage is pretty good. So I don't mind that one. Again, you know, it just depends on what you're using, how it goes. Y'all, I've got stuff everywhere now. I tried to be organized. Okay, this is um, the Prim Stitch series that I started. It's a Lori Holt chart. And it was 12 of these, and you could stitch them either separately or together. I chose to stitch them together, and then she had a layout of this, um, of that border to where you could stitch them together. Um, I don't know if that's blurrier. So, 
This is the first one, the second one, third one. fourth, the fifth one, which is in the middle, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, for all you count lovers, <laughs> eleven, and the twelfth. And so I'll show you what I have done so far. Again, this is one that needs to be completed because it's ridiculous how much I have done. And it's just sitting. Apologize for the wrinkles. It's obviously been sitting a while. So I have a little bit of the border to do left and then I have like two squares to do left. That's my little hedgehog that my mom got me. Isn't that cute? It's super cute. Anyways. So I need to get this done um, probably this month. This is Kind and Gentle Woodland Holiday Sampler by Artfill Offerings. Um, I love this little chart. I started it about, oh, I don't know, it's probably been two years ago. Um, this is on Winter White, 32 count. And I've got quite a, I mean, probably, I don't know, maybe half of it done. I don't know if you can see that. So I just need to get to it. I just think the colors are so pretty. Um, and I'm using the Call for Colors, which are Gentle Arts, DMC. Yeah. We have like a pack of deer in our subdivision here. There's like 14 doe, um, and it's so fun to watch them. You know, they just travel together. And so what my idea is, if I can ever get any stitching done, completed, is I'd like to have a wall dedicated to um, charts that have deer in them. I think that would be neat. I don't know, it might sound crazy, but I, I just feel like that would be kind of fun. Um, okay, so that's all of that. So those are um, those are not all my whips, my works in progress, but those are the ones I got out to show you right now. So I don't really have a number. Um, maybe I'll get them together one day. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so what's next on my list? Because you know, if I don't do this, I will be all over the place. Um, okay, so let's talk about. The retreat I went on. Um, so I went to Stitchaway. It's in Ohio. Um, it's put on by Keepsakes, uh, Barbara and her staff there. Um, there's a guest designer that she always has. It, well, it's kind of a mystery designer. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the explanation as to um, the chart that she gave us. If, if you wouldn't mind, um, if you'll go um, over to uh, Just Keep Stitching with Pam and Steph, they do a lovely job kind of explaining how she came about um, the chart that she designed for us, um, Beth at um, Summer House Stitchy Works. Um, sorry, I should have said that first, but um, they do a lovely job. So um, if you'll check them out, um, you'll hear more about that. Um, but Barbara put on a tee for us the people that it was their first time there. And so on our table, we had um, this chart, which is lovely. Um, and then Friday night, when everyone else got to uh, see who the, the mystery uh, designer was, um, Beth also designed this for the retreat. And I believe you can get these at Keepsakes now. So that's cute. And then th along with this came the um, everything you need to complete the little um, and the pins. And then we also got a gauge. Super cute. You know, everything's super cute. Um, 
And then the big reveal was Saturday. And this is just, it's, I was, it's absolutely beautiful. I just think it's over the top, absolutely gorgeous. I'm actually going to stitch this for my mom. Um, this year she's having a garden tour um, in Kingwood. They, every other, every two years they have a garden tour. And so um, she put her house down and they came and visited and they picked four houses. And so hers is one of them. Um, so, um, my friend Janice, my neighbor and I are going to go down there and see her, her gardens, um, and do that little tour in Kingwood. So that'll be fun. But I thought this would be nice to, uh, commemorate this year. Um, so I'm going to be busy working on this. Um, so a little bit about the retreat. Let me just take a minute to say a couple of things about the retreat. So, this was very, um, when I went to this retreat, I went by myself. I knew nobody. Um, you know, I live in Oklahoma, got on a plane, rented a car, um, drove through. Um, I landed in Cincinnati Airport, which is in Kentucky. So, then I rented a car there and drove through Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio all within like 10 minutes. It was hysterical. I was like, I just went through three states. Um, it was at a beautiful lodge. Um, it was lovely. The lodge was absolutely beautiful. Lovely time. So when I showed up, um, it, it was a long day. I got on the plane early. I had to switch planes, run a car, drive an hour. Um, I hadn't eaten very much because I don't really eat much when I'm traveling. Um, so when I got there, I was starving, um, but I didn't really know, um, you know, what to do. And um, I had been talking to um, Megan and Lisa with Sassy Southern Stitchers. Um, they're super sweet. Um, and I saw them at a table, but like they had everybody at their table and I didn't want to interrupt them. I just felt funny. Um, so I just kind of sat down at a table kind of behind them just by myself. So I was sitting there for a little bit and then not very long and and then um, Megan turned around and she was walking by me and I said, oh, hi Megan. I said, I'm Krista. I've been the one that's been talking with you. And she was like, oh, hi, you know. And so she showed me where the name tags were and kind of where the restaurant was and some different things where the tea and stuff was kept. And so that was really nice. And then she went back to her table and I sat down again at the table and um, and then Lisa came by and said hi, and so, and that was fine, so I was stitching, and then it was really nice, there was a table kind of in between us, and there was, um, two gals sitting there, they were sisters, um, and I cannot remember her sister's name, I remember Colleen, I believe was her name, um, they, at I don't remember how long I was there. At one point they said, you know, hey, why don't you come sit here? There's no sense in you sitting by yourself. And I was like, oh, that's really nice. So I moved over and sat with them and they were super sweet, really nice. Um, so anyway, so they left to go to dinner and they had invited me to go to dinner, but I just, it was cold outside. I really didn't want to get back outside. Um, so I just grabbed something from the restaurant and um, I was a little chilled. So I went and sat, there was a huge um, stone fireplace. And so I went and sat by the fireplace to warm up and eat, take a couple bites of food. And these two gals came and walked over and, you know, I was just trying to strike up a conversation because I didn't know anybody. And I was like, oh, hi, you know, where are you guys from? And they were like, oh, Pennsylvania. And I, I said, oh, I said, my mom's from Pennsylvania. And so we just started talking and I said, what do you like to stitch? And so they told me and, you know, we kind of talked back and forth a little bit. So then they went, I saw where they were sitting. They were just sitting right over by me kind of and so when I got ready to leave and go to bed um Angie so the two gals at the fireplace one uh her name was Angie and then her friend was uh, Jean they had come together and so when I was going to leave she um tapped me on the shoulder and she said hey come sit with us tomorrow and I was like oh okay that'll be great so um so that was nice you know, I felt a little bit um, better because I'm going to be honest with you. I almost wanted to go home that day. I just got like majorly homesick. 
Um, I even called my husband and I was like, I think I'm going to come home. But let me just tell you, I am so glad that I didn't. I stuck it out. Um, and so the next day came, I sat with them. So much fun. Um, and so there were a lot of people there um, and some floss tubers there um, that I ran across. Like I said, Megan and Lisa with Sassy um, Southern Stitchers was there. Um, Kia B was there. Uh, Ray with Red Barn Samplers was there. Pam and Steph were there with Just Keep Stitching. Uh, Missy with Two Needles Pulling Thread. And then um, Sarah with Sarah's Stitchery. Um, and then later that day, Cindy came. And Cindy is Cindy's Adventures in Stitching. Um, she came, and so we actually had, we invited her to, because she kind of looked like she was wondering where to go because she had just gotten there. Um, and so I showed her where the name tags were and everything. And so I said, why don't you come sit with us? We have room. So she sat with us. So that was fun. So those girls are like, they're great. We are still talking, you know, we text and we, you know, show and tell with each other. And um, Cindy is going to weekend A for StitchCon, so we won't see her, but Jean and Angie and myself are going to Weekend B, so they invited me to sit with them, so that'll be nice. Um, so those are friends that, you know, I'll have for a long time, so that's been really nice. Um, one person I didn't mention was Liz, the Wondering Stitcher. And I gotta tell you, um, I don't know if she really understands what she did, but she was the one person I wanted to um, actually go meet. And it took so much guts on my part to walk up to her. I don't know why. Everyone's just a person, but you know, anyways. Um, so I went up to her, I guess it was Thursday. I showed up Wednesday, so it was Thursday. And I went up to her table and, and she kind of had two tables of friends. Well, I'm sure she has a multitude of friends, but there were two tables that were kind of with her. And I walked up to her and I, I introduced myself and um, I said, uh, and she kind of, when I said, you know, hi, I'm Krista. And I said, I'm, I'm the wildflower stitcher. I said, I've commented, and, oh, uh, yeah. And so I sat down and started talking to her and, um, one of her, one of her Jans, <laughs> she has multiple friends named Jan. Um, and we started talking and I was just, you know, telling her that, you know, yesterday was hard and, you know, but that I had met some friends and that I was sitting with them and she was, she stopped immediately. She goes, Oh, come eat dinner with us tonight. And I was like, Oh, you don't, <laughs> you don't have to do that. You know, I mean, you have plans. I'm not trying. And she goes, no, I'm serious. She goes, we have an open, um, chair so please come sit with come meet with us and I was like are you sure she said yeah so I said okay and so let me just tell you you know she had nine a reservation for nine at the restaurant well I know nobody right in their group and so when we were walking to the table I was thinking gosh I don't even know where to sit you know I don't want to sit right by her because I don't want her to think that you know all this business right unnecessary thinking I'm a huge overthinker anyways she looks at me and she says, Krista, I want you to sit right here across from me so I can talk to you. Okay. So I sat down and she goes, okay. So, you know, I mean, we were chit chatting and, you know, ordering our food and stuff. And then she was like, okay, so tell me about yourself. I mean, I got to tell you, she was the sweetest person. She made me feel so welcomed and um, just, you know, it was just hospitality at its finest. Um, and I, I hope that, you know, we can, um, you know, she was sweet. She was like, well, now you have another friend. So, and I, I truly believe that. So, um, I really enjoyed talking with her. She is absolutely hilarious. And, um, that laugh, Liz, you just cracked me up, girl. Let me just say that. So I wanted just to say, Thank you to everyone that I met um, at Stitch Away. It was lovely meeting everyone. I had a great time. I'm so glad that I stayed. Oh, one more thing. So the um, mystery designer, Beth, with um, Summer House Stitch Works, 
if I'm saying that, yeah, I think I'm saying that right. Um, she is a lovely person. So she actually um, is in the group with Angie and Jean up in Pennsylvania. They have a group that gets together once in a while and they stitch and she's actually in their group. So they knew her. Um, and we had such a lovely time, um, the next day that she, so we, you know, we were introduced to her Friday and then Saturday she was going around to tables talking and then she needed to eat lunch and she came by our table and she was like, Hey, have y'all ate lunch? And we had kind of ate a late, um, breakfast, but I was, I could take a snack. It was fine. And so I, I said, and the other girls were like, no, we're not really hungry. And I said, well, I'll go with you, Beth, and, and eat with you. I said, I, I know how it is eating by yourself, you know, it's no fun. So I went to go eat lunch with her and we just had the nicest time talking. She is just such a lovely person. So I just wanted to, um, not that she's watching this or anything, but I just wanted you guys to know she is just really a lovely person. Um, really enjoyed that. So enough about that. Um, so... I am going to show you just a few things that I've started in January and February. So I went to the Jingle Ball and in one of the little stitchy rooms ran across um, several ladies that were together. Um, KJ out of Oklahoma City, which is only two hours for me. Um, Sue from Magnolia, Texas, which I know exactly where that's at. Um, Kim, the contented needleworker, you know, she's out of California. Um, I think it was it just that, I mean, there were some other ladies, but these gals have kind of stuck together. And then we added some other gals, Shelly and um, Kathy, um, the Carolina cross stitcher. Um, to a little Zoom, we get together and, and Zoom and stitch. It's it's a blast. Um, just the sweetest ladies, sweetest ladies. Um, but anyways, I guess in our conversation when we were talking that night, I was talking about that um, I would love to start Martha Wamsley. I think is how you say Wams Wamsley. Anyways, eighteen forty seven. Um, and that I had never stitched a bird before and things like that. And so next thing you know, um, KJ's asking me if I want to do a stitch along with her and Kim. And um, I said, yeah, sure, that would be fun. So we started this January 1st. And it was really fun because Kim put together a Zoom for us on the 1st where we all put our stitches in, um, our first stitches in together. So that was fun. So I've got this much done so far. And let me just tell you, I am loving this. Loving it, loving it. It is just so beautiful. And I actually enjoy the confetti stitching because it keeps you kind of engaged. You know, you're constantly changing colors. You get to see what it looks like. And it's almost like, um, um, is it, I hope I don't say it wrong. I think it's Katie with um, So Tattered. Um, she was describing like you're almost like an artist painting and it's just really I mean she said the exact words I was like that's exactly what it is it is very lovely um, I'm using DMC on that and I'm using 40 count if I can find my bag it has there it is lolly bra linen so I'm using that and I'm having a blast. Now, I started another sew along with Kathy, um, the Carolina cross stitcher. We started, I'll get the cover, Lydia sampler. I don't know what that was, uh, by the Spanish stitcher. She's a new designer and we just wanted to start this and get her charts out there. And so I started this February 1st and we'd love if y'all want to join us, come on with it because it is a fun little stitch. So that's what I've gotten done so far. I'm stitching it on Ada 
Fiber on a whim, cream and sugar, 18 count. I love it. It is an easy stitch and just fun getting those. I love those baskets. Kathy asked me, where are you gonna start? And I said, girl, I'm starting at the bottom because I wanna get to those baskets right away. Um, so that's fun. So I think I'm doing good. There's just a few more things. I wanna show you some completed projects. Some are fully finished, some are not. Um, and some have not been fully finished for a long time. Um, and then I wanna show you just a few patterns that I'm going to, um, that I would like to start pretty soon and I'm sure there's a whole bunch more. Um, so, I would like to know what y'all think about this. I absolutely love Leanne, this designer. 18, she's with 1897 Schoolhouse sample, Samplers. And this is Art is Long and Time is Fleeting. I fell in love with this chart. I know it's probably hard for y'all to see. But I went to, when we lived in Norman, I told y'all we had moved to Norman for a little bit. I went to middle school um, there and the middle school's name was Longfellow. Um, and so this is a part, that title of this, it comes from a, um, a Psalm of Life by Henry Holt Walsworth Longfellow. So I just fell in love with it. It meant something to me. I think it's beautiful. Um, so I am stitching it on bee's knees, and I don't remember, there's two bee's knees. I just found that out um, when I was watching Nicola on Hands Across the Sea this morning. Um, this is the darker one. Anyways, I started it, I've got it down to there. Do you... What I want to know, so this is this is the floss. Let me get you the floss. I think it's going to be pretty on here. I mean, I know it's not going to be like popping out, but I think it's going to be pretty. I don't know. You guys let me know. I think it'll be pretty. But, you know, maybe I'm not seeing something right. I kind of veer to a darker fabric. Y'all, let me tell you how much I love Leanne and her charts. I have this one. I'm sorry I didn't take them out. I have this one. This one. I would love to do this for Valentine's Day. I don't need one more thing to stitch right now. Sorry about the glare. And this one. And I cannot wait to see what she's coming out with. Sorry for all the crinkling. Um, for market. I'm super excited. Okay. So. I don't want to make this video too long, so let's let's move about. Look, y'all, this fell out somewhere. I have no idea where it goes. I'll find it when we're done here. Um, okay, so I stitched this for my mom uh, Christmas before last. And here's a picture of it. Okay. Maybe if I have a picture, I'll insert it. I have a picture. I just don't know where I filed it. So I will insert that. Anyways, story behind it. So my mom has this friend, and I told you about the garden tour that she's doing. So I'm going to stitch the, we just did this, I did it as a standalone. But um, if you know, this comes with, each month it comes with a flower little, I don't know, little round um, that you can do that I've now misplaced. Anyways, um, I'm going to stitch April so that she has it for her little garden tour because she has this in her entryway. Um, 
So I'll obviously insert a picture of that too because I have no idea where I put it. So that's one thing that I'm gonna be starting. The neat thing about it is, so my mom said she was gonna um, stitch that with me. So I kitted it up for her and I got her the 14 count, you know, Ada, and I got me the same thing. We were gonna stitch it together. Y'all, this is my mom's right here. This is what she stitched. So that's why I ended up finishing mine and I just gifted it to her. But what's cool is I'm going to restitch it using this and I'm going to leave her start on here because I will forever have stitches of hers on mine. So I'm kind of excited about that. As you all can tell, I'm a little sentimental at heart. This was the uh, from the fact that you make a donation and then you get the chart and you stitch along. And so I stitched this during COVID, I believe. And I also stitched it with um, two friends, um, Katrina and Mary. We used to get together and we would stitch on it. Um, so it was really fun. That was good memories with this. I'm sorry that I don't remember. Make-A-Wish, I think you donate to Make-A-Wish through, through Fat Quarter Shop. I believe that's what it is. Oh, look what I found. <laughs> That's what I'm going to stitch for my mom. So you can see, you can, you know, do it all the way around, but we didn't do that. We made this big and then I'm going to do the individual ones for her. And she's probably just going to put it like in a dull bowl or something like that. So this is a pattern by um, Stitching with the Housewives, Bringing Home the Tree. And this is my finish. stitched it for a friend and gave it to her as a gift that was fun to do um, this was also a fat quarter this was hmm, I don't know if this was called feels like home or home sweet home I don't remember it was a mystery stitch along I stitched this my um, the year I turned 50 because I just love this color. And I love this little chart. It was fun. Uh, that's on Lago Laguna. Is that right? How you say it? I think 25 count. This was, oh, I don't remember. White cloud, white something. Maybe that's not what it's called. This is Mistletoe Lane. And it's on Overcast, 25 count Lugana. Y'all, I just need to finish these and get them hung up. If you looked at my house downstairs, you wouldn't even think that somebody that likes to stitch lives here. <laughs> um, this chart is by Silver Creek Samplers. I don't remember what it's called, and it's not written on here. It's Christmas something, but I don't I don't think it's Christmas list. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, I stitched this on 25 count. No on 28 count Monaco. And I coffee tea dyed this myself. It's the only thing I've ever coffeed and tea dyed. Um, but I think it turned out all right. I loved stitching this. It was so much fun. I stitched this during COVID as well. And I'm not gonna be able to show the whole thing, but I'll just scroll it up. I, I used the call for floss. I believe it was just DMC. Super fun. That tells you how long that's been done. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> this is also Silver Creek Samplers, Greatest Catch. I believe this came out last year at market. Um, like I said, my husband and my son love to fish. So I started this September 14th of 2022. No, that is incorrect, 2023. On my husband's birthday and I stitched it on I wrote this down I stitched it on 28 count still by fiber on a whim and I stitched this with one floss the called for colors or the called for floss I should say um, the called for floss are it's a lot it's I know it's variegated floss I know that oh sorry about all that noise and of course it's not on there I know it's not DMC. It's all 
I'll have to get it for you. I apologize. But I loved this um, fabric. That was fun to stitch. I stitched that one pretty fast because that was in September of 23 and we're in February of 24. So look at me go. <laughs> um, this is Alice Williams, 1881, Hands Across the Sea. Again, I just am a sucker for those colorful samplers. Um, this one I did on Tobas, 32 count. light it's starting to get dark here so um but this was a fun little stitch i have no idea when i started it it was last year sometime i know that um and then i have several of the calendar crates stitching with the housewives um i don't have the chart in front of me for this one but i think this one was it's April's and I don't have the small done for this one they come with a little small um, and then here's the 4th of July here's the small that goes with this and the larger one I still need to finish this a little bit obviously I have this in the finished pile so it got put in the wrong pile <laughs> oh well there's February's. I have all the months. I just haven't finished them all. <clears throat> Pardon me. There's the small. And the larger one. There's November's. There's the small. And the bigger one. And these are all done on 14 count uh, Ada. I think they're called chalk. I think it's called chalk. Um, this is strawberry jam. This was a retreat that I didn't, I was signed up to go, but I, I couldn't go. There were some reasons why I couldn't go, but um, I ended up finishing that. I really like this. I just need to finish, and I have the finish for it. I just need to finish it. Um, this was also a retreat that I ended up not going to. I know, crazy. Life happens sometimes, you know. Um, here's the finish. And then this was a collaboration between Plum Street Samplers and heartstring sampler and i have both sides of it but this is the one that i stitched and i stitched this on confederate gray i believe i think it's i think it's 36 count this was i really enjoyed stitching this This one I just started at Stitch Away. Um, it's in the Heartstring Samplery Small Samples One, Samplings One. Um, this book is wonderful. I want to stitch everything in it. Uh, this is the one I stitched. These were done with wool. Um, and so you could have the choice of, you know, filling that in or not. I did them in DMC. They're charted in DMC, but the originals. Um, Bella Lusa wool. Um, <clears throat> so I did this on Duxbury by Fox and Rabbit. Um, well, I don't know if it's 36 or 32. Hmm. Anyways, I absolutely love it. I love how it looks vintage and old, and 
I'm probably going to make this into a little pillow, and I would like to stitch the other ones that were on that page. Okay, so this is how exciting my floss tags get. Just, you know, I just roll with it. Um, okay, so let's just talk about a couple of things that look fun. I went to, um, last year was it? I went to Branson, Missouri, and um, I was with three other friends of mine, and they're not stitchers, um, but they humored me and let me go into um, a, a needlework store called Cecilia's Samplers. Um, if you haven't been, it is a lovely, lovely place. Um, I met a gal named Lori there. Um, she is super sweet. It was so fun. Again, she was walking out the door and I was like, oh, what'd you get to work on? And so we started talking and, um, so it was fun getting to know her and we, we talk and share things and, um, so that's fun. Anyways, back to that. I bought this, it's 28 count seraphim, uh, it's called peep is the color. I'm going to see if you can, I don't know if you, isn't that fun? like all the Easter colors. I think, even though I absolutely love these on, you know, this brown color, I think these would be so fun on that fabric. I mean, I think they would pop on there. They'd be fun. So I don't know. I'm thinking about starting one of those on that. Um, I also have kitted up Chubby Bird. I know a lot of people are stitching Chubby Bird. I kitted her up on Chai, 40 count Chai, which has a little bit, I don't know if you can see it in here, but it has a little bit of a, just ever hint of a pink undertone to it. Um, but won't these be just lovely? Let's see. Let's see. Won't that just be lovely? On there. So, I'm sure the next time I talk to you, I will have a thousand more starts that I want to do. My mom cracks up. She's like, let me guess, you started something else. And I'm like, well, you got to have choices. You know, sometimes you get bored, you want to do something different, different color, different style. Anyways, um, the other thing that we got at, oh, I have two things to show you and then I'm going to let you go. Um, Ray with Red Barn Samplers. She gave us, I wish I could turn this around and show it to you, but I can't because it's a chart. But she gave us this, and um, it's Isabella Roberts, um, 1848, and it's coming soon from Red Barn Samplers, but she gave us like a little motif from it. And let me just say that, don't you love how I have, again, see, I, you know, y'all, I just roll with it. I just, I'm about the stitching. I just want to get to the stitching. I'm not really, I don't really like kidding up. I'm just saying. Um, it's kind of like quilters, you know? Like, I love to quilt. I love to chop up good fabric and put it back together. But I don't like to actually do the long arming. I have someone else do that. So, anyways, I love those people. And then I send it to my mom for her to bind it. Because <laughs> I don't like to bind either. Um, anyways, so she gave us this. Super cute. And this is the floss that I'm using for this little chart. So I hope to have this done. It's not very big. I hope to have this done. I probably will post it on my Instagram before I show it to you here, but um, I'm going to use this fabric, which I think it will look lovely on. I'm super excited about it. So that's that. I'm gonna challenge myself to stitch it over one, but I don't know that that will happen because I just wanna try that. Um, so I think that's it. I hope that this is a little bit more organized than the last one I did, um, even though y'all didn't see the last one. Um, so I want to thank you again. Um, you can, um, find me on Instagram. Um, I actually have a personal account that is under a girl and her love all one word, and then um, my more stitching uh, Instagram account is the Wildflower Stitcher. Um, 
You can find me on Facebook under Krista Ray, K-R-I-S-T-A, last name Ray, R-A-Y. Um, um, and until next time, if we just keep taking it one stitch at a time, our projects will get complete. See you later. Happy stitching. Bye.